everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Cam and um I am a bit bold today. Today is Halloween. Um, this is the base makeup for my Halloween. I am going to be a nurse this year. Kind of generic, I know. But um, I was going to add the gore and stuff, but not till later. My hair is up because I was going to do it, but I want to do the gore on my face before I let my hair down. So I'm sure that video is already up before this one, but this is going to be my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. And I own... Every one of the products that I'm going to be talking about, I went through my collection and seen like what I think is worth getting the 20% off of and everything like that. So I think I'm going to start with um, my, I have got two skincare items, one hair item, and then I'll just jump into my makeup, the order that I would put it on my face. Now let me, I guess, tell you what the sale is. So if... For if you're Rouge, the sale starts November 1st and you get 20% off. If you are um, just VIB, uh, it starts the 7th and you are 15% off. And if you're just a Beauty Insider, it also starts the 7th for 10% off. So you do get a little discount. I personally am Rouge. So, so first of all, I want to talk about a cleanser. I've gone through three of these bad boys. This is the Bosha Detoxifying Black cleanser and I love this stuff this stuff is freaking awesome I have not opened this one because I am trying to work through a few of the ones that I have open right now so this is a backup waiting for me um I do really like it because it comes with this like stopper thing so um you can make sure it doesn't like open if you're traveling or anything like that and this stuff just gets everything clean and just make sure that everything is just I just love the way my skin feels after I use this so I would definitely recommend this one and if you don't want the full size one they do have a mini for ten dollars so um so that's that's pretty exciting I do also have a mask I've been using this a lot lately this is the milk makeup watermelon um hydrating mask and I really do like this because you just twist it up and I personally keep the cap on it so I don't make a big mess and draw it on your face. Easy to use and then I what I normally do is I'll take my makeup off and then I'll draw this all over my face, wait the 10-15 minutes and then hop in the shower and just rinse it off. And this is like a mess free, like I don't get it all over my fingers and the only downside to this is if like you don't clean your face everything and like but bacteria can get on here so I would just make sure your face is completely clean at, when you start to draw this on your face but I do really really like this mask um, next I'm gonna talk about a hair care item which is the Bumble and Bumble BB hairdressers invisible oil heat UV protective primer now this stuff is the bomb like this helps with like flyaways and frizziness plus it's a primer so if you use heat in your hair this is gonna help protect your hair braid my hair after I get out of the shower I'll spray this in my hair I'll braid it and then in the morning when I go to take out my braid I spray it with this stuff and my curls stay a lot longer my hair doesn't frizz out like it just this stuff is like my go-to and you can see like I've used like almost half of it already like half would be like right here I'm right here so I've used quite a bit of this so far and I really really would recommend this stuff. For eye primer I would highly 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 recommend this this is like my favorite eye primer this is the pretty vulgar uncaged eyeshadow primer and it is like I've used this bad boy a lot like I really love it it's tacky it doesn't have any like pigment to it so if you want to cancel everything out probably not the primer for you but if you don't really care and you'll go in with like a setting powder like something with just a little bit of color to cancel everything out this does work it's very tacky my eyeshadow stays all day long and I keep using this on my channel so I would strongly recommend this pretty guy here um, next let's go into eyeshadows and I've got like this bag is kind of like stuffed with eyeshadows that I'm ready to talk about so first things first I'm gonna talk about Huda Beauty so I not only have these um, palettes here but I also have the new nude palette they did just come out with three mini sides so you could honestly just get that um, and go off your skin tone but here is what this eyeshadow palette looks like and I really do like it you get two glitters 
four of these like marbly shades, one metallic and then one cream shade for like a concealer. Um, and then the rest are matte. And I do really like how you have like light tones and then like medium tones and deep tones over here. Personally, I like this because I like options. And I don't think I'm going to pick up any of those three because I own this one. But I mean, if you didn't want to pick up the whole $65 big boy, you can pick up the this size of this palette. So, I also have these um these are the obsessions the jewel obsessions I, there is one more that i don't have there's a purple one i do want to get some of the ones that are like the mauve ones and the brown ones and things like that but i do like these for travel purposes you have like a light shade you've got transition shades you've got a deepened shade and then you have options for like your um your lid so i personally People don't really like these, but I think the quality is great, and when I was first dabbling into color, these were, like, my best friend, and I'll just, like, look at that. It's just really, really nice. I'm also going to talk about mini palettes from Natasha Denona. So, these palettes I really, really do like because if you look at each of them, when you look at it, you've got your transition, your deepen, your inner corner highlight, and two lid shades. And I think the quality of these are really nice. I know they're, um, I don't own a Natasha Denona larger palette, so I don't know how the formula compares to that one because I know people have discrepancies because they're not the same formula. But I do really enjoy these because, like, for travel purposes, you have everything right here, and it's just very nice and put together. I think she did an amazing job on these little palettes. I've also got the mini nude palette, the mini sunset palette, and the mini star palette. And the last two palettes I have to talk about are from Marc Jacobs, and these bad boys are $50. So if you want one, and you've had your eye on one, and you wanted to try it, now is the time to do it, girl. Now is the time. So I've got the um, Glambition, and then this one is the shade Scandalous. So here's this one. This one, you also get an inner corner highlight, a transition, like um, a setting shade, transition shade, deepen shade, and then you also get like a pop of color, and then you get two other shades here, and I really like the formula of these. They blend like butter. They are so nice. I um I originally bought one of them because Tati really really likes these, but um yeah, I just ever since I bought it, I keep using them and they're great quality. They work wonderfully and I just I love them, honestly. Um next, I'm going to go into um eyeliner and this is also from Marc Jacobs. This is just their, like, eyeliner pencils that I'm going to let it dry down, and then I'm going to show you how, like, transfer-resistant this is. Like, it is insane. In the back of my hand, I'm going to continue to talk about other things in my cart and wait for this to dry. And then I'll show you after this dries. Like, you can scrub over the top of it. You can wash your hands, and it just doesn't move. It just stays there. So I will come back to talking about this in just one second. Going back to this liner, it's dry now. Look. Like, it's not going anywhere. It's it's stuck. Um, so next, let's talk about primer. My favorite primer at the moment is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And this stuff, I'm wearing it right now. It just blurs out everything. Your pores, your coloration. Like, it just makes everything sit so nicely on the skin. I originally thought I was going to love the Gripping Primer, which I also have. And I was trying to use that one. But I didn't really... I'm not in love with it, like it's a nice primer, but this one, holy cow, this is my holy grub primer at the moment. It is thebombdiggity.com. So I would really, really, really suggest you pick up this primer. If nothing else in this haul, pick up this primer and you will not regret it or go in and get a sample and see if you like it. 
Um, Smashbox you can't really see because it was sitting down, but like the last time I had it sitting up so all the product can go to the bottom where where I store my foundations, it lays down like this, and it, it's been moving around in the bag, so it's kind of like all washed out, but if I had it sitting up the last time I had it sitting straight up and all the product went down to the bottom, it was at right here, and that was quite some time ago and I'm almost out of this foundation and I, I'm going to keep using it like you can see I don't know if you can see that but the coloration is just like I've used this bad boy up and um I'm so close to using it and I think I'm going to repurchase this for myself just because it is my favorite foundation. Setting powder I apparently really really like these two brands because I'm going to keep talking about them. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder and I've got mine in the shade Butter. This stuff does have a slight scent to it but it doesn't bother me because it does diminish and it doesn't like stay hanging around or anything like that but if your skin is sensitive to smells I would keep that in mind but this stuff is really nice it just makes your skin look really smooth and air finished and I do really enjoy this stuff. And, um, this stuff, the Cover FX, this is the perfect setting powder, makes it look like I have no pores. None whatsoever. This stuff, smoothing quality, is the best. Like, it looks like I'm not even wearing anything when I apply this. Um, I did apply a different setting powder today, so I'm not wearing either of these two. But this stuff... If you're in the market for a new settings powder, these two, I would recommend you going into the store, swatching. But this one is so finely milled, and it just it just makes your under eyes look like a freaking pillow. It just, mm, good stuff. Really good stuff. Okay, so after I set all of that, I like to do my brows. And the two brow items that I have to talk about are the, I have thicker brows and very full brows. So if you have sparse brows, this is probably not the best for you. I know if you have a sparse brow, more of a like precise pencil is the kind of route you want to go. But this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And I really like it because it is a bit thicker and a bit bigger so it takes me less time to fill in my brows because I have a lot of hair in my brows and they're very full so I don't need a whole lot of work and then I also because I have a lot of hair in my brows I need to set them down with a gel. I personally really 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 love the clear brow gel from Anastasia. This one is almost out. I already own my backup. It's sitting in my drawer behind me so this stuff is a win through and through and I'm sure I'm not the only person that is gonna say that. It's just there. So moving on to bronzer. Um, the two that I would recommend are both a little bit pricey but this one has been a love of mine for a bit longer. This is the Jouer um, Sunlight and Suntan Bronzing Powder and honestly I just mix my brush in the both of them. This stuff is perfect if you have like a light skin tone. The formula is just so just nice and subtle and blendable and I never get a bad bronzer day if I'm wearing this stuff. So I really do enjoy this stuff and it is a, is a bit on the pricey side so I would recommend picking it up when you have the sale. This is the Marc Jacobs 104 Tantastic Omega Bronze and there's what it looks like and this would be perfect if you have like a lighter skin tone like me. Um, this stuff, I'm wearing it today, it's just so nicely, like it blends nice, the color is nice, the formula is nice, it smells a little bit like coconut. A little bit, not much. It's nothing like the Physician's Formula bronzer, but it does smell like coconut just a little bit. And I do this, honestly, I like this one over this one just a little, but I think they're both worth mentioning and they both have great formulas and great pigmentation if you have a lighter skin tone. After bronzer, let's go into blush. And I've got four blushes to talk about, which is kind of surprising to me. But I'm going to talk about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trios. And personally, I like options when it comes to blush. Because I don't know what I'm going to want to wear. Because my eyeshadows are going to be different. Like if I go with a 
pink eyeshadow I'm gonna want like a nude or anything like that so I really do like blush palettes over single blushes that is just my personal preference because I like the options when it comes to blush um, so I have mine in the shade pink passion and I know you can still get these but you can also get them at TJ Maxx so if you want to look at TJ Maxx first I would suggest doing that and the I really do like them because you do get like three different colors I got like a mauve a pink and like a nude shade so I would recommend getting a blush palette if you are gonna buy any blush I would strongly suggest this one this is the one from Jouer and look at that packaging they did just come out with a new one and honestly I believe I'm going to be p purchasing that myself during the sale because it just looks so pretty and here is what um, the shades look like I really do like it this shade here is the only one that I won't use um, the one that is in the the newer blush palette that they have, it's got, it's, the packaging is beautiful. You get one highlight and six blushes, so that is kind of nice. This is the only shade here that I don't use, but you get like a nude, like a more orangey nude, you get a pink, you get a bright pink, and you get a mauve. Like, I just like having options when it comes to blush, so I really would suggest picking this bad boy up if you are like me and you like blush palettes over single blushes because... I like options and then the last face product that I have to talk to you about today is a face palette this is from benefit this is their cheek leaders bronze squad and I like this because a you get a huge mirror and B you get two bronzers two blushes and this highlight here is just freaking gold I am wearing it today um, but you could also just get that highlight which is in the shade cookie and get it on its own now so you don't have to pick buy the palette to get that single highlight so honestly if you are not in the market for a full blush palette or if you have bronzers that you like and blushes that you like you can just pick up this highlight here which is what I strongly do recommend I've used like the crap out of it I'm sure you can see it there and it is a really nice highlight plus the benefit formula is really nice and if you don't own anything from benefit this is a good way to dabble your fingers into pretty y'all so I was in the middle of talking about the benefit cheek leaders bronze squad and I really do like if you're in the market for a um, like a face palette I would suggest picking this one you get two bronzers two blushes and a highlight but, however, I'm mainly recommending it for this highlight here. So if you have any Benefit products already in your collection, you don't have to buy this. Or if you don't have any in your collection and you are looking to try some out, this would be the perfect opportunity. But um, this highlight here is the main reason why I am recommending this palette. Because look at that. That is just gorgeous. They make it on its own, so if you just wanted that item specifically, you could just go out and get that highlight. But also, another highlight that I would like to recommend is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight. This is their Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I thought this one was better um, for my skin tone specifically. I am more pale and this is more of pale so you can't really see it it doesn't emphasize texture in my opinion it is just nice you get more of a matte side and then more of a shimmery side or you could be crazy and get them both so I mean these highlighters are just gorgeous I really do like them um, I do like Fenty Beauty I like a lot of her items in her brand so I would suggest checking the things that she has or if you not and setting spray would be the urban decay all-nighter I love this stuff if you can hear that like there's maybe about this much left in there I'm trying to use this up I've been trying for a while now and I'm almost there I I'm gonna be so excited the day I finally um, use this up because I have two backups sitting in my drawer behind me which is kind of <laughs> kind of insane but I mean what can you say? I like this stuff. Okay, now let's move on to lips, which I have a lot. So first let's talk about my bullet lipsticks. So first, the Tarte Color Splash Lipsticks. This formula 
is so nice. It is like a nude formula. Go out and pick one. It's so comfortable to wear. Plus the packaging is beautiful. I've got this one which is in the shade Berry Mojo and this one which is in the shade Salt Life. I do also have a few minis but I only want to talk about the full size ones. And they're comfortable. They wear nicely. You can reapply them throughout the day. So I really do like this formula. Another formula that I like is the Huda Beauty. This is the matte lipstick that they have and I believe I'm going to be picking up at least one more of these because I really do like the formula. The bullet looks kind of a little unique and it's just again comfortable, nice to wear um, and I really do like this formula from them plus I do like the fact that like the top is faded into the actual color of the lipstick so at a glance you can see what color this is that I our liquid lipstick formulas that I have this one is the Tardis lip paint formula and I do really like this formula it is comfortable it doesn't dry my lips out at all um, and I really do like it plus they normally this I got in a set last year It came with five of them and I did get rid of one because it was purple and my sister likes purple my sister will wear purple lipstick. I will not so I just gave it to her and um, It was a nice little gift for her and I do like these because I've got three different nude shades And then like this punchy red shade here, and I really do like this formula. It's nice. It wears nice and um that's all I gotta say about that. I have three different glosses to talk to you about. First is I always like to plump my lips. So I'll apply a plumping lip gloss, do my face makeup, take the gloss off, and then um, apply a lipstick just so I know my lips are nice and full and voluptuous. And one of my favorite plumping lip glosses is the Buxom formula and I've got two minis here about last year I bought a whole set it came with I think 12 different mini lip glosses and personally I like minis because I can never go through a full size so minis are where it's at and I know they have a set this year I seen it on Sephora so if you are looking for a nice plumping lip gloss I would suggest the sets of these and then uh, everybody knew this was coming. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I have the Diamond Milk and Fussy. Um, this formula is just really, really nice. Plus, the applicator is nice and big, so you don't have to constantly dip back in here. Um, and I do really like this formula. I'm sure you've heard it at least three different times from other YouTubers, but this formula is where it's at. It's a very nice formula, but if you don't want to spend, I think it's 18, 16, it's in the teens for those glosses. This is a great alternative. This is the Sephora Lip Gloss, and this one is in the shade Totally Lucid. It is just a clear gloss. I know they have some with, like, shimmer and stuff, but I've got a few shimmery clear lip glosses so I just wanted a clear lip gloss so I picked up this one I do have another one it's in like a light pink but I think that's in my purse right now so um I really would suggest picking up or trying a few things from the Sephora brand I do have a bronzer from them which works great and um I have inner corner highlight a uh, little mini eyeshadows from them and I think their products are actually pretty okay so I would suggest this I think it's like eight bucks for a gloss which is really nice it's not a plumping gloss or anything like that so it's just a regular gloss and I think that is everything like I had a lot to talk about but this I just wanted to talk about items that I already knew and uh, items that I personally would recommend so I I don't suggest going out and buying everything that I talked about but if you're in the market for a new lip gloss if you're in the market for a new highlight if you're in the market for a new bronzer things like that I would like just go through and pick and choose like things that you're interested in and um, I know I didn't really talk about a whole bunch of new things just because I'm waiting for this out personally and I'm going to be doing a VIB haul so I didn't want to talk about all the things that I wanted so without further ado thank you for watching this video if you like makeup content please think about hitting that subscribe button and the big thumbs up I try I post at least two um, videos a week um, I'm mostly um, 
cosmetic heavy, but sometimes I do go out of that. Um, and I think that is it, y'all. So I will see y'all next time. Bye!